So I was wondering if you had any suggestions around different kinds of meeting structures. I've heard you say in the past that one of the major reasons board members leave boards is because they are bored. <laughs> they don't like the meetings. Um, and you had some suggestions for our crowd today. Right. And I do. I mean, we lose more board members because they just are bored and disgusted that what they thought they were going to do by being a board member isn't happening. And why they join the board to make a difference, to, to have an impact, to do good isn't happening. And the one of the key reasons it doesn't happen is because most boards use their board meetings to talk about what has already happened. And they're not even talking about it as much as just listening to it. When your board meeting is structured so that it is committee report, committee report, 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 report. So, you know, the traditional agenda starts out with, um, you know, approval of the minutes of the, the last meeting, executive director's report, board president's report, committee A, committee B, committee C. Board members are sitting there just absorbing. There's nothing active about that process. And that's a very, very boring um, meeting. And it's particularly boring if you realize that what you're doing is learning about what has already happened, something over which you have no control whatsoever. What board members need to be doing is getting that data ahead of time because they need that data in order to do their real work. But when we equate that data absorption, that sponge-like behavior as doing board work, then we are way, way off the mark. So one of the things that, that boards can do to really, really make sure that they're using their board time effectively and efficiently in doing the work of the board is to move to a consent agenda, which is where you take all of these routine, non-actionable reports and you put them under this header of consent agenda. And then the board president says, do I have a motion to accept the consent agenda? You have a motion, you have a second, you have a vote. And all of those things that have already happened are put into record. And now you can use your board meeting time to discuss the questions that all that data has, you know, has revealed. And you can use your meetings as you should to talk strategically. I mean, too many boards think that the only time they're supposed to do strategic thinking is when they're doing a strategic plan. And the fact is we want every board member to bring his or her strategic perspective to excuse me, strategic thinking to every board meeting. So if we do something as simple as remove the reports, let the data collection happen before the board meeting, frame the agenda in a series of questions, questions engage people. You know, we start to talk about the answer, we think strategically, we brainstorm, and we come out with suggestions of what we can consider, do, etc. So we are in fact helping to move things forward as opposed to just sitting there and absorbing.